Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town. Hello and welcome to another SSET video. Today we are doing our Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. We are doing writing and it is our 4 p.m. class. Today's book is Grammar Zone 1 and we are doing the first review in the book. So that is review number one. So that is on page, it starts at page number 10. So that is what we are doing. We're doing our review. So page 10, 11, 12, and 13. All right. So as I always tell you, make sure you have your book before you start. If you need to go and get your book, just pause the video, grab your book, and come back and play the video. And when you have your book, let's get started. All right, today we are going to do some review, some practice of what we learned in the last few grammar lessons. So we are going to practice what we learned in Grammar Zone 1, which is the verbs to be and to have. Also some nouns and some plurals. So let's get started. Let's have a look. There's an email here. Someone has written an email to a friend. So make sure you read along. I will read it. Just read along with me. It says, Dear E. Powell, my name is Tina. I'm eight years old. I have one sister and one brother. My sister's name is Amy. She's five. And my brother is called Nathan. He's 10. My mom's name is Joanne and my dad is called Graham. I have a little cat. He's black and white and his name is Miffy. He's very nice. I'm medium height and I have short brown hair and green eyes. I have some skates and I have a bicycle. My house is next to the park. I ride my bike there every day. The library is between the park and my school. I can walk to school and do my homework in the library. Tell me about you. How old are you? What do you look like? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Do you have any pets? Write soon, yours, Tina Jamison. Now we have to answer some questions about our email from Tina. All right, question number one is, Tina blank, brown hair, and blank. So this is asking, what does Tina have? So this is the verb to have. So Tina, Tina has brown hair. Tina has brown hair. So fill in has on the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Tina has brown hair. And what else does she have? Tina has brown hair. And have a look here. What does she have? Green eyes. Green eyes. So Tina has brown hair and green eyes. So that's number one. All right, number two. Tina's cat, something black and something. Tina's cat, what, is, what goes in here? Tina's cat is black and, have a look in the story. Tina's cat is black and white. Tina's cat is black and white. Alright, question number three. Tina's house is... So where is Tina's house? Remember what we did the other day? We were talking about prepositions. Prepositions. This means positions. The position of something. Where something is. So preposition. So Tina's house is... Have a look in the story. Tina's house is next to the park. Next to. 
next to the park. Tina's house is next to the park. All right, question number four. Tina goes to the library. Have a look here. Tina goes to the library. This one is another preposition. So Tina goes to the library between the park, between the park, between the park and her school. Tina's, Tina goes to the library between the park and her school. All right, question number five. Tina something medium height. Tina something medium height. Tina has medium height? No. Tina had medium height? No. So this is a verb to be something. So Tina is medium height. Tina is medium height. Tina is medium height. All right, question number six. Tina's brother something years old. Tina's brother something years old. So let's have a look. Have a look in the story. Tina's brother is Nathan. He's 10 years old. So Tina's brother have years old? No. Tina's brother is 10 years old. Is 10 years old. Is 10 years old. Tina's brother is 10 years old. All right, make sure you write those down because I'm going to erase them. All right, question number seven. Question number seven. Tina's last name. Tina's last name is, have a look down the bottom of the email. She has written her name. Tina Jamison. So Tina's last name is Jamison. Jamison. Tina's last name is Jamison. All right, let's move on to question number eight. Tina's sister's name is, remember the story? She says, my sister's name is Amy. Tina's sister's name is Amy. Question number eight, Tina's sister's name is Amy. Let's do question number nine. Tina something, a brother and a sister. Tina something, a brother and a sister. Tina is a brother and a sister? No. Tina have a brother and a sister? Close. Tina has. Has. Tina has a brother and a sister. All right, last one, question number 10. Tina's something name is something Joanne. Tina's something name, something Joanne. So Tina's, who is Joanne? Have a look in the story. Ah, she says, my mum's name is Joanne. So Tina's mum's name. Don't forget apostrophe S. Tina's mum's name is Joanne. So is Joanne. So write Tina's mum's name is Joanne. Now why do we do this? Remember, this is apostrophe S for possession. So you have something. What does Tina's mum have? She has a name. So Tina's mum's name is Joanne. All right, that's question. Sorry, that is page number 10. That's done. Make sure you write your answers before you keep going. All right, let's move on to question number, sorry, page number 11, page number 11. All right, page 11. Now we have to look at the text here and beside each one in the line, you have to write, is it a word? Is it a phrase? Or is it a sentence? Now, before we do that, let's have a quick look. Number one and number two, they've already finished. So let's have a look at those. Number one is long brown hair. Long brown hair. Is that a proper sentence? No, it's not a proper sentence. It's three words, so that is a phrase. It is a phrase. It's not a proper sentence. 
Number two is green. Green, that is not a sentence. But that one is just one word. So that is a word. So we have to write phrase, word, or sentence. So let's do number three. Number three, he is tall and thin. He is tall and thin. That sounds like a good sentence. So it is. It is a sentence. Sentence. Number four, blue eyes, blue eyes. It's not a sentence, it's not one word, so it must be a phrase, phrase. Now the PH here, it sounds like F sound, F, F, phrase. So I'll write it in brackets here, this is what it sounds like, phrase, phrase. So you pronounce it phrase phrase all right number five riding my bike riding my bike is that a proper sentence who is riding my bike or am i riding my bike is peter riding my bike it just says riding my bike so that is not a proper sentence it's not one word so it also must be a phrase it is a phrase all right number six Height, height, it's one word. So it's not a sentence, so it must be a word. So write word, it is just a word. Number seven, the car is behind the house. The car is behind the house. That sounds like a good sentence. So write sentence. The car is behind the house. And the last one, number eight, my sister. My sister. Is that a good sentence? No, because it doesn't tell you what my sister is doing or has done. So my sister. It's not one word, so it must be a phrase. A phrase. Phrase. So that is exercise number three. Make sure you write the answers in the space here. All right, let's do exercise number four on page 11. Exercise four, page 11. Now we have to complete the sentences using plurals. So finish the sentence using plurals. Plurals are more than one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. More than one, more than one. So number one, I have three and the word is sister. What is more than one sister? It is sisters. Good. Just add the S. I have three sisters. I have three sisters. Number two. They like those brown. Now the word is mouse. We have to do more than one mouse. They like those brown. What is more than one mouse? It's not mouses. It is mice. Mice. Good. Now move on to number three. Number three has two we have to write. We have to write two answers here. First one is the potato, so more than one potato. The potato are in the box, more than one box. Let's do the first one, the potato. More than one potato is potatoes, potatoes. Now at the end here, what do you do to make it more than one? You add ES, ES, potatoes, mangoes, tomatoes, ES, ES. Now we have to keep going. The potatoes are in the boxes, more than one box. When you have this letter at the end, X, you add ES, boxes. They, the potatoes are in the boxes. Let's move on to number four. He wants 10 and the word is sheep. What is more than one sheep? Is it sheeps? No, it's not. This one is a special one. It doesn't change. One sheep, two sheep, 500 sheep. So he wants 10 sheep. Sheep. Let's do number five. This is a tricky one, number five, a little bit hard. 
Those, the word is woman, woman, that is one woman. Those women are tall. So those is more than one. So how do you take one woman and make more than one? Those women, women. You change this from A to E. So those women. And it pronounce, you pronounce it a little bit different. Woman, women. So one woman, two women women two women three women four women and the last one number six these and the word is man these men have brown eyes so what is more than one man more than one man is men these men these men have brown eyes now I'll teach you a little trick here how do you remember one woman, one man, many women, many many uh, men. All right, little trick here. Remember, one is a woman. One is man. A a a a woman man. When you want to change them, change them to more than one, you change both with an E. So woman, A, becomes an E. Women, man, one man, change to an E, becomes men. So both, change both words from A to E. That is exercise number four on page 11. We have one more exercise on page 11. It is exercise number five. Right, let's do exercise number five. You have to read and look at the underlined word, the underlined word. We have to write a noun, adjective, verb, or preposition. So we have to write in the space here. The word that is underlined, what is it? Is it a noun? Is it a verb? Is it an adjective or a preposition? Before we do this, let's quickly touch on those four things. Right, what is a noun? Do you remember what a noun is? I'm holding a noun in my hands here. So a noun is a person like me or you, a person, a place like America or England, or it can be a thing. It can be a book, it can be a marker, it can be a whiteboard. So a person, place or thing is a noun. Adjective, an adjective describes it tells you something about the noun. So the noun might be a man. He is a tall man. He is a tall man. This is the noun. The adjective is telling you what kind of a man is he. He is a tall man. So this is an adjective. Adjective. He is a tall man. It can also be a color. He has a blue balloon. He has a black marker. The verb, verb, you should know what a verb is. It's usually an action word, doing something, running, talking, swimming. It also can be wants something, is something, has something. They are special verbs. And the last one, preposition. Remember I taught you, how do you remember this? Preposition means the position of something, where something is. Remember our baseball field that we drew? Remember that. So position, preposition, where something is. So number one, I walk in the park every day. I walk in the park every day. The underlined word is walk. Walk is easy. What is it? It is a verb. Verb. Very good. All right. Good job. Let's move on to number two. Their cat is behind the house. Their cat is behind the house. Remember, I wrote this word preposition where something is. Where is the cat? It is behind the house. So behind is a preposition. Preposition. So you have to write 
preposition. Number two, preposition. Let's move on to number three. Our car is green. Our car is green. Remember our tall man? What was tall? Our car is green. He is a tall man. So it is an adjective. An adjective. Adjective. Number four. She has black shoes. The underlined word is shoes. Shoes. Now what are shoes? They are something, a thing. So what is a thing? Person, place or thing is a noun. So shoes are a noun. A noun. Alright, make sure you write these down. Number five. The man is in the kitchen. The kitchen. What is a kitchen? It is a place. It is a place. You can go to the kitchen. So what is a kitchen? Person, place or thing. Kitchen is a noun. Noun. Alright, let's do number six. What pets do you have? What pets do you have? The underlined word is have. Now remember, this is a special one, a special word, have. What is have? To have something is a verb. It is a verb. To have something is a verb. That is the verb to have. What does he have? He has pets. All right, last one, number seven. Number seven. It is tall. Ah, we did this one already before we started. The man, oh, he is a tall man. Do you remember what tall was? It is an adjective, an adjective. It is an adjective. All right, let's quickly go over these again. Number one, walk is a verb. Walk is a verb. Number two, behind is a preposition. The position of something, where something is behind. Number three, green is a color, so it is describing something. It is an adjective. The next one, number four, shoes. Shoes are a thing. Remember, nouns are people, places, or things. So shoes are a noun. Number five, a kitchen is a place, so it is a noun. Number six, have, that is a special type of verb, the verb to have something, so have is a verb. And the last one was, it is tall, tall is describing something, it is describing a noun, so it is an adjective. All right, excellent work. Make sure you have all these answers written in your book and we will move on to page number 12. Page 12. Now, we have to fill in the sentences here. I will read the instructions. We have to read the sentences. You have to write first person, second person, third person, or... Ah, sorry, and, singular or plural. All right, let's go over those before we do the exercise. First person. First person conversation. First person talking. How, what is first person? What is second person? What is third person? All right, I will explain it to you as easily as I can. I am eating my dinner. I am eating my dinner. So I, I'm talking about me. So I is first person. I'm talking in the first person, so it's about me. The next one is second person. So it could be you or him or he or she, someone who is here that I'm talking to. So that is second person, second person. Third person, that person is probably not here. So my mom is in Ireland. My mom is in Ireland. So is my mom here? No, she's not here. So that is third person. You can say, for example, oh, Mr. Smith is my old school teacher. He's my old school teacher. But I'm not talking to Mr. Smith now. I'm talking about him. So he's not here. So that is third person. Singular and plural. Well, I hope you remember what singular and plural is. Singular means one. 
Plural means more than one, so two, three, four, more than one. All right, so let's do the exercises. Number one has already been done for you. Number one says, Sally, you are my friend. So she's talking to Sally. She's not talking about herself. She's talking to Sally. So Sally, you are my friend. Friend is only one. So you, she's talking to another person. So that is second person and singular or plural friend is only one. So that is second person singular. All right, let's do number two. Number two, we'll do these together. My brothers, my brothers are thin. My brothers are thin. So I'm not talking to my brothers. I'm not saying you are thin, you're my brother. My brothers aren't here. They're not here. So that is third person. So just write third, third person. And it says my brothers, not brother. Brother is one. Brothers, plural. So that is plural. More than one. More than one. All right, number three. We, we are great students. We are great students. So I'm part of we, we, we are great students. We are great students. So what is that talking about? We are great students. Hang on, let me just remind you where these are. All right. If, sorry, if this gets a little bit complicated for you, go back, when you're doing the reviews, go back and look at exercise one and exercise number two on the first pages. That's the first exercise we did if you need some revision. All right, so let's do this one again. Ma, we... We are great students, so I'm talking about myself as well. So myself is first person, first person, first person. We are great students. There's two clues there that will help you. We is more than one, so it can't be singular. And students, students, it's not one student, it's students. So that is plural, plural. Plural. All right, number four. Mr. Owen is my teacher. Mr. Owen is my teacher. Mr. Owen is not here. Oh, you are Mr. Owen. Hi. No, he's not here. I'm saying Mr. Owen is my teacher. He's probably, well, he is somewhere else. So Mr. Owen is not here. So it is third person. Third person, and Mr. Owen is only one person, so it is singular, singular, one person. Number five, hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm talking about me. I'm Jason, so it is first person, first person. Hi, I'm Jason. I'm only one person, so I am singular. Singular. All right, number six. Mr. and Mrs. Jones are my neighbors. Mr. and Mrs. So you know there's two people there. Mr. and Mrs. So that is plural. It's not one person, so that is plural. Mr. and Mrs. Jones are my neighbors. Now, are they here? Am I talking to them? If, I was here, if they were here talking to me, would I say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones are my neighbours? No, I would say, hello, Mr. Jones, or hello, Mrs. Jones. So, which one is it? It is third person, because they're not here. Third person. And it is two people, so it must be plural. Third person, plural. Now, this is a little bit difficult, but just go back. Have a look at exercise number one on page number two, and you can do the exercise again if you need to. All right, make sure you write your answers down before you move on to the next exercise. If you need to pause to write, just pause the video and then finish writing. All right, let's move on. We still have one more exercise. 
on page 12. Uh, two more exercises. Now, number seven. Exercise number seven. Complete the sentences, so finish the sentences, with the correct form of to have and to be. To have and to be, okay? To have, this is the verb to have, or the verb, oh, the verb to be. The verb to be. To have or to have. Oh, sorry, this light here is a bit bad. There you go. To have and to be. All right, so number one is already finished. Is your dad tall? Is your dad tall? Now, that is the verb to be something. He is tall. You can't have tall. You can have a tall dog, but you can't uh, be, you can't have tall yourself. So that is the verb to be. Is your dad tall? Now, number two, do you something any pets? Do you something any pets? Do you is any pets? No. Do you have any pets? Good. Do you have any pets? Not has, it is have. Do you have any pets? Number three, does she something green eyes? Does she is green eyes? No. Does she has green eyes? No. Does she have green eyes? Does she have green eyes? Good. Number four, wear something you, Tony. Wear something you, Tony. So this is a question. They're asking, where are you, Tony? Where are you? Where are you, Tony? Not where is you, Tony? Where have you, Tony? Where has you? Where are you, Tony? Where are you? Number five, who, something, they. Who, something, they. So they is more than one. So you can't have is. Who is they? Well, it's close, but not correct. It's still the verb to be. Who are they? Who are they? Correct. Who are they? All right. Number six. He something a cat, but he doesn't have a dog. He something a cat, but he doesn't have a dog. He is a cat, but he doesn't have a dog? No. He are a cat, but he doesn't have a dog? No. He have a cat? Oh, that's close. He has a cat. So he has a cat, but he doesn't have a dog. All right, so make sure you write your answers here. And we will do one more exercise for page 12. All right, last one down here. Common nouns and proper nouns. Common nouns and proper nouns. All right, what is a common noun? A common noun is something like this. Eraser, a book, a marker, jacket, Whiteboard is a common noun, it is a thing, it's not an important thing. A proper noun, a proper noun is usually a name, like a person's name, name of a country, the name of a city, the name of a street, the name of a school, so it has a capital letter at the start. That is a proper noun. All right, let's have a look. Alan, Alan. So these are common nouns on the left, common nouns. And these are proper nouns on the right-hand side. Common nouns, proper nouns. First one is Alan. Alan is a boy's name, so it is a proper noun. Alan. Alan. Number two, a school bag. A school bag. It's like a book or a marker. It's a common noun. So a school bag. School bag. All right, let's move on to the next one. China. China. It is the name of a country. So a name, something goes here. Proper noun, China, China. Proper noun, name of a country. The next one, Madison School, Madison School. That is the name of the school. That is why it has a capital M and a capital C. If it was just school, it wouldn't be a proper noun. But this one has a name. It is the name of the school. So it has a capital M for Madison, a capital S for school. Madison School is a name, so it is proper noun. 
Madison School. Make sure you keep the capitals the same as the book. The next one is teacher. Teacher. It's not a name. It's just a person, place or thing. So it is a common noun. Common noun. It does not have a capital. No capital. Next one. A rabbit. A little furry rabbit. Proper noun or common noun? This one. Common noun. Rabbit. Doesn't have a name. The next one. The United States. America. USA. Name of country, same as China. It is a proper noun. So I'm just going to write the US, United States. The last one is music room. Music room. What is a music room? It is a place. So a noun can be a person, place or thing, but it's not the name of something. It is a common noun. So music room. Music room. All right, we have two more exercises make sure you write those down we have two more exercises on page 13 and then we are finished make sure you write these before you continue if you need to pause please do so okay let's do our last page last page page number 13 there are some questions here so you have to draw a line to the right answer i will ask you the question and hopefully you can write uh, draw the line to the right answer. First one is, what's your last name? What's your last name? Have a look at the answers. Last name. What's your last name? Which one is it? What's your last? What's your last name? It is Wallace, the bottom one. Wallace. So draw a line. Wallace. What's your first name? What's your first name? What is your first name? Look at the answers. It is Susan. What's your first name? Susan. How do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? Have a look here. It is spelled W-A-L-L-I-S. How do you spell your name? Draw a line to W-A-L-L-I-S. So, the last one must be, how old are you, Susan? I'm nine. I'm nine. All right, excellent. Now, we have one more exercise to complete, and then you can fill in the yellow box at home. So let's do exercise number 10. You have to read the questions, underline the correct answers. Now, number one is finished already. The question was, how are you? How are you? Answer is, fine, thanks. Or, how are you? Yes, I am. Ah, oh, no, that's not correct. So how are you? Fine, thanks. Underline, fine, thanks. That one is already finished. All right, let's do number two. Number two. The question is, what's this? What is this? The answer is, it's a school bag or, yes, it is. What's this? It's a school bag. So, underline, it's a school bag. It's a school bag. Number three, the question is, how many cats are there? How many cats are there? You have two answers. They are cats. How many cats are there? They are cats. No, that's not correct. The other one is, there are three. Question, how many cats are there? There are three. Yes, that is correct. There are three. There are three. Number four. Who are they? Who are they? Two answers you have is, are. Yes, they are. Who are they? Yes, they are. No, that doesn't sound right. Who are they? They are teachers. Yes, that is correct. They are teachers. They are teachers. They are, underline, they are teachers. Question number five. Do you have a ruler? You have two answers. Do you have a ruler? No, it is. No, it is. No, that's not correct. Do you have a ruler? No, I don't. No, I don't. So underline. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. All right. This is our last question. Last question. The question is, is there a music room? Is there a music room? 
you have two answers. Yes, there is. Is there a music room? Yes, there is. Oh, that sounds good. Or, is there a music room? Yes, it is. Is there a music room? Yes, it is. No, that's not correct. So, is there a music room? Yes, there is. So, yes, there is. Underline, yes, there is. All right, that is the end of today's lesson. This was just a review, a review of the lessons that we have previously done. Okay, so that was page 13. So we did review one, lessons one to four. So we have already finished lessons one and two and three and four. So this was a review, just to go back and practice some of the things that we have just done. All right, that is all we have time for. So just to remind you, you have been watching one C grammar lesson. This is the writing lesson. It is our Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4 p.m. class. And all those students out there that are watching, well, I hope you're watching, please keep safe. And until we see you again, goodbye for now. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. SSET English Town.